Hey, it's Thomas here, and today we're gonna to be checking out Kessel's AP9X light fixture. I'm pretty excited about this. We've already taken a look at the A360X Tuna Blue, as well as the Refugium LED. And now we're gonna check out Kessel's answer to lighting standard 18 inch to 24 inch wide tanks. Also, the Wi-Fi chip is built into this one, which solves the dongle gripe I had with the previous lights. Dongle gripe. That sounds really weird, but I digress. Like I've said in the past, Kessel has been around the block more than a few times now and has been making phenomenal reef lighting options that not only grow gorgeous corals, but also make it really easy for reefers to do with virtually no way to get spectrum wrong, even when dialing in a light to our own individual preferences. They also have what is widely considered to be the best metal halide-like shimmer around with no color separation, a nice, wide, even distribution of light, and more recently introduced Wi-Fi app control. The AP9X is Kessel's answer to reefers looking for a single fixture to illuminate a standard rectangular aquarium somewhere between 30 and 48 inches in length and around 18 to 24 inches in width. Now that's not to say that reefers with custom or modern aquarium setups wouldn't want to get in on this AP9X action since, let's face it, this light fixture has a few great perks that their puck-shaped pendants don't. But before we get into all that, it's time. In the box, you'll find the AP9X, the Meanwell power supply, the hanging brackets and screw hooks, as well as QR code stickers, a Kessel sticker to represent your Kessel pride, a warranty card, and the quick start guide. The AP9X, in essence, is a pair of 360X Tuna Blues in a single, very sleek, hoverboard-esque housing, drawing around the same 180 watts from the wall that a pair of 360Xs would. It comes in at only 5.7 inches wide and just over 16 inches long, and is pretty dang thin at under 1.5 inches thick, and easily one of the slickest looking reef LED lights that are currently available. While it does share the same X-Series dense matrix LED arrays, mouthful, you will notice the optics are actually slightly elliptical, which is what gives the AP9X its unique rectangular spread that is well suited for covering standard rectangular aquariums between 30 inches and 48 inches in length, and certainly capable of keeping SPS tanks with a 36 by 18 inch footprint or mixed reefs with a 48 by 18 inch footprint happy and healthy, but I'll also tell you how we would use this light, including mounting height and spectrum in just a little bit. The AP9X has some great mounting options, including an upgrade to a single mounting arm over its predecessor, the AP700. Right out of the box, you're gonna get the standard pack of triangular hanging brackets and screw hooks for mounting it inside of a canopy or for your own DIY hanging solution. Kessel also has a hanging kit available if you prefer to pick something up that is prefabricated for you. The mount that I'm most excited about is the new AP9X specific tank mount for using a single mounting arm to get this slick fixture attached to your tank. It has everything we love about the A-series arms, but does it in a single arm rather than a pair of arms like the AP700, which is really going to speak to those who prefer to keep things as minimalist and clean looking as possible. The AP9X arm also gives you 60 degrees of tilt so you can position the light perfectly for your aquascape or to decrease any light spill. You can also use a pair of A-series arms for the AP9X, and while they don't offer the tilt of the other mount, they do offer better distribution of the weight of the light fixture on the glass for tanks with thinner panels, which might be an advantage to some of us that have thinner standard aquariums. I will say though, this fixture is extremely light. So even with a single arm, it's not gonna put much pressure on your tank. So the AP9X specific arm is definitely the one I would choose for mounting this light. While the lens and reflector design on the AP9X is different from the 360X models, it still boasts the same bold, beautiful halide-esque shimmer lines and color blending. What the elliptical AP9X lens and reflector combo do differently is distribute the light from those dense matrix LED arrays in a wide rectangular shape with emphasis on getting more light out to the sides, which not only spreads the light out very well over that rectangular area, but also intentionally cools down 
on that hot spot between the two intersecting arrays in the middle of the fixture. So you don't end up with a super hot spot directly underneath the light, resulting in a more uniform spread side to side, which is going to work very well for tanks that are between that three to four feet in length, but only 18 inches or so wide, like your standard 40 breeder or 75 gallon tank. The AP9X's Spectrum is going to be very familiar since it is essentially a pair of 360X Tuna Blues, providing a fantastic wide band in the blue spectrum between 400 and 500 nanometers with some added near UV as well as red and green diodes. The spectrum that this fixture can produce has grown as some jaw-dropping corals, with the BRS-160 and the WWC BRS hybrid tanks being great examples of the results that you can achieve. One of my favorite parts about Kessel's approach to Spectrum is their Kessel logic. It basically allows you to tune the color of the light fixture from either more blue to more white to suit your personal taste while knowing no matter where it lands, you've got a solid spectrum to grow healthy, colorful corals. It just makes dialing in the fixture so easy to get right and is one of the reasons so many reefers have success with Kessel lights with minimal effort. On that note, the AP9X does have all of the controllability you could possibly need built right into the fixture, including Wi-Fi connectivity, so you can program your light through the Kessel app. Yes? One of my sort of gripes with the 360X was that you needed to buy a dongle separately to use it with the app, but Kessel made sure to have that connectivity built right into the AP9X along with K-Link ports so you can link up other X-Series lights to your AP9X using K-Link cables and share that connectivity and control without the need for a dongle. The app allows you to control the color ratio of blue to white, the overall intensity, the UV, red, and green channels, as well as set up a daily schedule, moonlighting, storm effects, the whole shebang. But if that isn't quite your jam, there is also very slick onboard control with a set of backlit touch capacitive buttons, so you can even run it on a simple wall timer and just dial in your preferred spectrum and intensity. Now, Kessel didn't stop there. If you wanted a nice middle ground between Wi-Fi control and onboard control, it is also compatible with the Spectral Controller X, which gives you more advanced control without a Wi-Fi connection, as well as zero to 10 volt control if you prefer to have all of your gear running on an external aquarium controller like an Apex, Proflux, or Hydros. There is no shortage of options here. You get them all, dealer's choice. Now, as promised, Let's dig into how we at BRS would use these lights. First off, for best spread performance, we found mounting the light at 10 inches off the water is the sweet spot. And for spectrum, the color channel set to 20, UV set to 100, red set to 20, and green set to zero produced a great spectrum that we were happy with. Now, while it is hard to achieve a flat spread of SPS dominated PAR numbers for a 24 inch by 24 inch or even 48 by 24 inch setup using just a single or pair of AP9X fixtures, they are going to be a fantastic option for mixed reefs with enough PAR for SPS near the top and middle of the tank and zones of lower PAR for LPS and softies in the front of the tank, even the back of the tank, as well as lower down near the sand bed. However, if you have a standard 40 breeder, 65 gallon, 75 gallon, 90 gallon, basically any standard tank that is about 18 inches front to back, this light provides a much more even coverage, which makes sense given it's designed with those rectangular optics, making it much more suitable for an SPS dominated tank in those scenarios, which makes perfect sense since that is in essence what Kessel designed this fixture to do. If Castle's AP9X matches your reefing mantra and you want to pick one up for yourself, or rather your corals, you can go ahead and click right here. That spot, where the arrow's pointing. 